All right, welcome back to the Predator Bay build, part two. Uh, definitely a lot harder to build these things in quasi real time making the videos as you go than it is to make it well in advance and then put out the video after it's all done. You know, there's a series of videos after it's done, but uh, good news uh, is we, I've made a lot of progress. Uh, I think you'll get a real good uh, idea of uh, what this tank is gonna look like uh, by the end of this video. Um, and like I said, it's been a lot of work and uh, it's definitely tricky uh, getting these video out, videos out every week on this tank. I'm definitely gonna have to substitute uh, some other videos in between, but uh, you know, it's getting done. Uh, it's definitely, it's uh, sooner than later, this tank is gonna be up and uh, housing sharks and rays. But uh, let's get into the uh, progress on the build. All right. Predator Bay probably looks a lot like it did at the end of part one, but there has been some major work done on the tank. And believe it or not, what you see right now is actually the, the most time consuming part of the build. Uh, once I put the floor on and uh, start doing the walls and everything, the, you know, because we're using so much glass in this build, that part's going to go really fast. So let me show you where we're at. Uh, you might see some filtration boxes in there, and that was definitely a lot of work. Uh, fiberglassing, 32 feet of seams on each side, so 64 feet, including, and then the end, so a lot of fiberglass work, but we do have the filtration boxes now. Let me let me run you through the system here. As you recall, we have the protein skimmer over here. It's gonna be up here, and then the drains are gonna be right here, and what they're gonna do is they're gonna come down, and the protein skimmer is gonna be fed from the first chamber, the settling chamber, and the drains will come all the way over here, to this first chamber. So this is our, our settling chamber. Uh, all the physical solids will, will get stopped here. They're gonna hit this uh, Matala filter mat, um, which you can see I have in there lengthways. Give it plenty of room to catch any physical particulate so it all stays in there and that can just be siphoned out of there. And that's also gonna be the water that is the dirtiest in the sense that it has dissolved proteins in it. So that's what we're gonna feed the protein skimmer with. And next, the water is going to come down to our aerobic bacteria area. So this is all ceramic block. There's, it's very, very porous. There's holes through the middle of it, so the water will move all the way through this massive amount of ceramic block. And this is going to have aerobic bacteria. So that's bacteria that's using oxygen, ammonia, and nitrite and, as fuel. And then the byproduct is going to be nitrate. So then we're going to come over through two two-inch pipes into the next filter box. Now we have some more Matala mat just to block any possible physical settlements that might have gotten that far. And now we're going to get into a giant block of additional ceramic block which is going to house our anaerobic bacteria. So by the time the water has passed over all of this, uh, back, the aerobic bacteria section, it's stripped the oxygen from the water. So now as we get over to here we have water that has nitrate and very low levels of oxygen in it. And that's the perfect uh, home, as long as you don't put any light on it either, for anaerobic bacteria. And that's what's gonna be growing here. So that's gonna strip out the nitrate and then the water is gonna flow down. We're gonna have a little extra section over there, but we're gonna flow into this third chamber. And this third chamber is where the return from the protein skimmer is going to return the water that has gone through the foam fractitioning. So it's had lots of air injected into it. So it's going to come into here, and now we're going to have uh, the, the, nut, the water flowing over from the first two chambers that has been stripped of nutrients and purified, along with the oxygenated water that's coming from the protein skimmer. And then we're going to return that down here, and we'll have the return pump on the end. And then, of course, the returns on the tank over here on the left. So we'll be draining from the right and returning to the left side of the tank. All right, so now it's time for me to finish doing all this cross bracing and get that uh, top, get the boards, the, uh, the three quarter inch plywood foundation on and start building the framing. And then once that framing is built, I can take the measurements for the glass, get that ordered, and I will easily be able to fiberglass the seams and epoxy paint the floor, the bottom of the tank, and the uh, all the framing. So it's gonna go real, real fast from there. All right, let me get back to work. 
All right, phase one is complete. Filtration is done, foundation is done. And it's time to now get to the exciting part where this actually starts to look like an aquarium. So uh, this bad boy is very strong. I could jump, well, no, I'm not gonna jump up and down because I'll probably fall and bust my ass and then I wouldn't be able to finish the aquarium. But uh, let me spin you around and uh, show you the foundation. All right, as you can tell, we are up on top of the aquarium on Predator Bay. So all of the supports are complete. Everything is ready to go to add the uh, floor of the aquarium and start building up the uh, framing that's gonna hold the glass. Uh, so really exciting stuff because like I mentioned, uh, the part you see right now, all the filtration boxes and all this framing, let me step down, is by far the more time consuming part. I will have this floor laid on here in no time at all. And because most all of the walls are gonna be glass, there's not, oh, not nearly as much framing as the 3,000 gallon or the 600 gallon. So uh, I expect this to start looking like a real aquarium pretty soon. And the key thing is, is once I get that framing done, I get those measurements, I get that glass ordered, definitely by the time the glass gets here, all the fiberglass and painting on the inside will be done. So it'll go real quick at that point. It's gonna be exciting stuff. All right, it's a good thing I had those extra screws laying around because it's gonna take a lot of them to get uh, all these boards screwed down. Uh, let me show you what I'm gonna do. First, uh, you know, I'm gonna screw the perimeter of all the boards, and then I'm gonna screw the seams on both sides, and then there'll be some screws, probably two rows in the middle, middle of each board uh, to hold these down, and uh, that'll be the base, and then we'll start working on the perimeter. But I just wanna give you a real quick uh, shot of the tank with just the, the floor down there, so you can sort of get an idea of the, uh, the room that the uh, sharks and rays are gonna have to uh, stretch their fins. I know, uh, I don't know about you, but I can already envision <laughs> them swimming around in here, so it's good. Gives me motivation to keep working. It's definitely a lot of work, but uh, it's really getting there. We're getting close. Uh, it is, uh, well, not really look like a tank quite yet, but uh, it is uh, going to very soon. Uh, once the framing walls go up, uh, then it's, uh, really gonna look like a tank. All right, but I have about a thousand screws to screw in, so let me get back to work and uh, check back in. All right, I think Predator Bay is starting to look like an actual aquarium. So we're getting the, uh, the framing put up and uh, this is, it's not complete. Uh, there is more framing across here and there is gonna be cross bracing and this piece you see right there is actually temporary. Uh, that was just to keep it braced while I leveled everything out, but I'll cut that out and then build up the braces and there'll be one that'll go higher up. But uh, you definitely, uh, you're getting an idea of uh, what this beast is gonna look like. Uh, right now it's a cat jungle gym, but uh, it's gonna be Predator Bay, Shark Ray and Friends Aquarium. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's definitely, it's taking shape and I am almost ready to uh, take the measurements for the glass. I am gonna, I have the material there to finish the bracing. So the walls and the bracing, so I am gonna do that. But uh, yeah, you definitely, uh, definitely get an idea for the scale of this beast. So let's, let's uh, let me show you what we have here. Let me see if I can get far enough back. So in our front row here, our front window, we're 12 and a half feet. So we have, you know, basically two six foot windows with the center brace. And then we have two four foot windows on either side. And then in the back window there, that's an eight foot window. And we have just this little part here and this little part here that are gonna be uh, actually uh, framed in with wood. And what they're gonna give us is, as you can see down here, our return pump is there. So we're going to have two returns, you know, one here shooting this way and one that way. Uh, of course, here's another large window. And then over here, um, this will be, the protein scammer will be elevated and there'll be basically like a little closet here. And uh, we're gonna have our three two inch drains coming down. Uh, so six inches of drain and two inches of return. But the reason is we have covers on the drains and at any given time, none of the drains is draining full capacity. Um, so we always wanna have uh, 
some extra capacity there. You don't want to have that anywhere close so that if you have a clog or anything like that, you certainly don't want to be, uh, have the risk of overflowing anything. So give you a quick look up, keeping in mind that that middle brace won't be there, sort of chops up the view of the aquarium, but I think uh, we definitely have enough framing here to get an idea. But so the next steps, um, so what I will be doing now is just finishing out what little bit of framing is left. I won't put the top braces on until all the glass is installed because the glass has got to come up and over the top um, and to be, you know, to be set in there. So uh, as you can imagine, big sheets of glass like this, half inch tempered are, are very heavy. Uh, so I need all the cap all the ability to maneuver them. Uh, so I can't really be sticking them through the windows and then bracing them out. So easier to go over the top. Plus once I start adding different panels, it'll, you know, block off these, what look like access points now through the front, that'll go away uh, as the glass panels go in. So at any rate, uh, no cross bracing will go on until all the glass is all set and everything. And I also anchor those cross, bolt, cross braces with bolts. So, um, uh, so they're the last thing to go on. But so there is gonna be one more level of frame here on this underside for the front. So it'll be three thick. Uh, the back is actually done, so I can show you that. So this is what the final top brace piece looks like. And then uh, basically you just have uh, the, the um, there, actually, I'm sorry, there is one more, one more level. Uh, so the, the, the 36 inches comes up to here and then you will have another three inches of open space. And then that also will take that top brace and, uh, and lift it up so that I have room for the lids. Cause uh, two things with, uh, with sharks and rays and with big aquariums, you gotta fully cover it. You gotta eliminate the, the humidity uh, from, you know, all the, plus the water loss, you'd be adding top off water continually if it was open top. Uh, and sharks and rays are big and strong and they love nothing more than to, you know, poke their heads out of the top, especially once they know that's where the food comes from. It doesn't take long before they're, they're very active at that, at being at the top of the water. You don't want them jumping out or anything. So completely covered, but uh, with the cross braces, I have uh, a little channel system I'll put on there and I'm gonna be using a different corrugated cover than I use on the other tanks. Rather than using the, the wavy sort of uh, greenhouse panel, this will be the kind that is, uh, it's two thin layers with a little bit of framing in between. It's also an acrylic panel, a uh, greenhouse panel, but it's, uh, it's more straight um, and it'll, it'll slide in and out. That way, uh, if they push up on it, uh, it won't pop off versus the other ones like on the 3000 gallon, they're just sitting on top. Um, and like for keeping arowanas in, I use netting underneath it. Um, but for this, it'll, they'll just be sliding in and out. Um, but yeah, so, uh, so next steps is finish the framing, order the glass since there's a lead time on that, and then go ahead and install the woodwork, uh, the, for wood, the, the, the flat panel, three quarter inch plywood on the insides there and there, cut the holes for the returns and for the drains. Um, go ahead and fiberglass every seam in the wood and every row of screws that's, that's holding down uh, the floor, as well as fiberglassing every seam, like where wood meets wood. So all around the perimeter and then everywhere where I have the screw holes will be fiberglassed. And then I will paint the entire inside of the woodwork with a gray pond armor uh, two-part epoxy and then i will come back over that with another coat of white pond armor two-part epoxy and then at that point uh hopefully the glass is here which it should be and then we install the glass you know glass and silicone and uh then it's water it's top bracing and water test and then if everything's good uh, we're, uh, you know, we're going to start aquascaping it and get the fish moved over. So part two is, uh, you know, we've serious progress here. We are hopefully, uh, I don't know, I'd say there's a chance part three, we have a finished tank with glass or, or if not, we are really close, but I would say that we're either at the fill test or, you know, who knows, maybe, maybe past that. Uh, I'll definitely do everything I can to uh, build it as fast as possible. I mean, I can't wait for this thing. I can't wait to see the sharks swimming in here. Uh, it's absolutely huge, and uh, it's going to be—it's going to be sweet watching them uh, cruise around this beast.
All right, stay tuned for part three. Thanks.